sure we sure do have a pile of heads next to us on this couch, don't we? Hey there, everybody. Welcome to well, Thoughts. Well, okay. <laughs> I want to not talk about that, uh, which is great. Yeah, that's fine. We, we won't address them. We'll leave them be. No, you know what? Now that you said it, I want to see where you're going with that. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted everyone to know that we were going to have a pile of heads next to us on this episode because we were doing some remodeling here in the studio that we record in, and we had a bunch of heads in here that we should... Don't. Stop. And actually, I'm dumping them all on the science lab. Stop passing them to me. There are I seven don't... of them. Welcome to Thought Sauna. This is where they keep the heads. Uh, this is a podcast where we talk about odd laws, weird dreams, and interesting thoughts. This is the worst one. <laughs> I am Brett, keeper of the heads, Hanrahan. I'm Sam, keeper of monsters and mysteries, Risley. Ooh, I love Ooh. that. I'm Cyan. Finally, after four years of attempts, have a job, Haskins. Amazing. <laughs> it, I, I literally, I never thought it was going to happen. I never thought it was going to happen either, but now I am Prestige Beauty Advisor at Ulta Beauty. I still love Prestige. Yeah. Like, you just yeah, went for all, real. You skipped all the beginning ranks. You didn't even have to get to level, like, 80 or whatever on Call of Duty. I mean, I'm pretty sure Prestige is just a brand, but... A brand, yeah. you say? <laughs> my my brand. brand we were having a conversation about a very funny joke that came out recently <laughs> it's very topical you know the you know the eyes my brand it yeah. was that and that, it was funny remember was when really that came good. out a couple weeks ago on okay. vine 2 i saw it oh yeah i don't like that you had to pull your phone out of the pile of heads that are in between us on this couch yeah this is also like the hair is like making my thigh itch just to just to uh, clarify, Sign got all these mannequin heads from beauty school. That's the only reason we have them, and in such a large amount, and why they have real hair. <sighs> and w- without yeah. further Please distractions, get them all off the couch. Let's just move on to the first topic. Who wants to go first? Hmm. What's yours about, Sign? Well, mine. Uh sounds like it'll be really fun and i'm really excited for all my dreams to be crushed because my thought is about toy story <laughs> really it sure um, again it sure is, is it sure is my, no that was brett's last time oh right now i'm coming Still in more toy with, story yep i want to see you combat this one samuel so here's my okay. thought submitted by Corey sp on reddit uh the original toy story would be an intense psychological thriller if it was shown from buzz lightyear's perspective not a new thought but something to talk about. I don't know how you... I don't understand how you were expecting me to take this down. Like, yeah, I, I suppose it would. For, like, well, the you don't first need to, half... You don't need to take it down. We just gotta discuss and analyze it, you know? Right, no, I, but Cyan said she was expecting me to take it down, and I don't Yeah, really because know everything how, because... Brett brought up, you were like, no, you fool. <laughs> no, no, I, so I, I, I kind of agree with this one for, like... The first half of the movie and oh, a little bit God. into the end. Like, Buzz Lightyear thinks this is all just, like, some... He's stranded on an alien planet. Well, thank God. Now we get now we get to have a discussion about it, which is more than I thought I would get from this thought. <laughs> so, thank However, God. towards the end, towards the end, he realizes what's been going on, and it's really not... Wouldn't be that scary for him. It, I dude, mean, I don't know about you, but if, if I went through all that, I'd still be freaked the fuck out. Because now I'm like, man, I'm a toy, aren't I? I mean, yeah, it'd be it'd be the equivalent of us three. I mean, humans, I think, and then we just go outside one day, and someone comes up and like, "Oh, yeah, you're a toy for like those giants up there," and we're like, "Didn't notice those guys. Weird. Didn't notice those." What giant do you mean? Guys didn't notice? Buzz got played with. <laughs> he sure did, Sam. Yeah, and now Buzz played himself. And that terrifying experience. He has to do that forever, and he has to just accept, like, man, this sure is my life, huh? Was it was it in the first or second movie when he saw all the other Buzz Lightyears? That's the second one, I believe. That must have been a trip. Yeah. Because, like, you find out you're a toy, like, okay. But then you see... That you're not unique. Just shelves of people that look exactly like you. Do you think they're ever, like... <laughs> you know how, like, they're, like, fucking messed up Barbies where the eyes are, like, placed wrong? Do you think there's, like, a fucked up Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
Or like you know, you know, like Special Man or something, like a knockoff Superman toy. Do you think there's like a knockoff Buzz Lightyear that like he meets at some oh, point? Oh yeah, for sure, oh. dude. And he's like, I'm Bill Spaceman. <laughs> Space. I'm Buzz Star Month. Space Deputy. <laughs> I'm Space, Biz Space Wrangler. <laughs> I wrangle the space and get it into the oh, herd. Yeah. Okay, I do want to take a second to, like, address in Toy Story 2, he does find that big-ass wall of Buzz Lightyear's. Yeah, and that's what we talked about. He's, yeah, no, he's not, like, he he looks at it and he goes, and he whistles. I can't whistle, so I won't mimic it. But he whistles in awe because he's impressed that there's, like, so many of him, that it, he's such a popular toy line. And then he sees the one of him that's like on as a display model and it has a belt and he goes, I have got to get me one of those. And then he tries to steal the belt from his like (laughs) essentially brother. (laughs) From from pretty much himself, honestly. And then he goes through that same he like that that like brother of his has that same moment of you're in violation of star command and he thinks he's actually like a space ranger. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So the the cycle. And just Buzz is continues. like, "Oh, great! This." Oh dang, dude! I just realized that's so messed up. If there's a what? toy and they think they have some kind of role, like a space ranger or a sheriff, they have to learn someday that they're a toy. Yeah. Every yeah. single toy goes through the thing that Buzz Lightyear went through. Yeah. They all realize, like, oh, I, I I'm want to. I really want a spinoff of the T Rex toy learning he's a toy. Oh my god. That's like, gotta be a trip. Like, do you think he tried to eat one of the toys and when he couldn't swallow them, he was like, what the hell? Like, I mean... And then from, the, and then, from then on, that's why that T-Rex is terrified of everything. Because remember, Rex is scared of everything. Yeah, he's a, he's the coward character. Which is... And the, it's funny because he's a T-Rex. Yeah. So I think his discovery of he was a toy was much more traumatizing than anyone else's. Oh yeah, like it fucked him up. Well, I mean, it, yeah, it's, I think it. I think it's worse for the friggin' what's his name, Porks a lot, the piggy bank. Yeah, because he's like, like, I'm not even a ham- toy. I'm a bank. People put things in me. <laughs> like, what is that? What's in me? <laughs> and people open my stomach to get it. <laughs> like Christ. Oh my God. Do you think? Do you think these animals, if they were, you know, they they came out and they're like. Uh, like they're animals yeah right? so they just make animals and then they eventually they find out they know how to speak a language dude fucking woody found out that he was like a tv star and like yeah movie. woody didn't know he was a tv star yeah he like finds out that he's like a celebrity and he's like Nani? he's like what well he's yeah an ultra rare ultra rare uh collector's doll or something do you, do you think there's like an au where like when woody found out he like got like a god complex <laughs> well he did i'm pretty that. sure that was i'm That's pretty sure that was the, the basis movie. of toy story 2 no but like he keeps it like uh, forever like forever like he, he actually becomes, does like, go to japan he becomes like a shitty celebrity like a <laughs> douchebag celebrity he starts like making racist comments <laughs> and he just starts going out with like he runs for president. Eighteen-year-old girls. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He starts dating like high schoolers and shit. <laughs> He's like saying the n-word. Oh no. He's just a terrible I person. I don't like this AU. Yeah, no, I I think it's a good. I think it's what should have happened. Honestly, Toy Story three would have been a bomb ass movie. Man. If that's what you mean, would have been a bomb ass movie. It was a bomb ass movie. It would have been better. It would have gotten a <laughs> hundred as well. Better. It could have gotten a hundred too, and it didn't. Can we also talk about uh, on Rotten Tomatoes? The Toy Story one got a hundred percent. Toy Story two got a hundred percent. I want to talk about what happened with Toy Story three it, it to was, get ninety nine. It wasn't about his racist comments. That's yeah, why the the first two had just such subtle uh, nods at Woody's racism. Against well, oh, Indians, Native Americans. Yeah, he's a sheriff. Because he was a sheriff. In the old Westerns. Oh, shit, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and so that's why that's just that 1%. Like, I didn't see that racism. So, I don't know. Do you think that, like, Woody's team is, like, the Indians? And he has, like, a Chief Wahoo hat? 
Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Woody loves the Cleveland Indians, the baseball team. Uh and loves Chief Wahoo. He has foam fingers and stuff of him. He he has all the buttons and patches. And he is so pissed that they're trading off Chief Wahoo for another logo. He is pissed off. Okay, so I didn't know this, but <clears throat> I was just like checking out the Toy Story cast on my phone because I knew like whatnot and tim we all know tim allen was buzz lightyear yeah but i decided to go check out tim allen's page and apparently his full name is timothy allen dick true <laughs> why did he keep that one out i don't know but the thing is his in like as an actor's credit his name his name is spelled tim allen a-l-l-e-n but timothy and timothy allen dick his full name allen is spelled a-l-a-n what is the reason for him changing the spelling? And the and the mystery deepens. The mystery thickens. See, this is why we have this show. We ask the big questions. What happened to Timothy Allen's middle name, I guess? <laughs> His middle name. Tool it's, time. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. That's just, that's it. Just twenty more minutes of. Uh, 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 why did he grunt so much? He was a, he was a grunty dude. He was uh, you know uh, he had a lot to yeah. deal with with work and with family and he was just tired. He went through all these shenanigans. I don't I give think, a fuck. Get your shit together. At the end of the yeah. at the end of the day, he was sore and he was just like, uh, uh, <sighs> like he couldn't quite do it a hundred percent. And then he went to bed. He shut down. He shut down. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> Rebooting. <laughs> oh god! Is that one hundred percent full max capacity? We've gone way off topic. That's just how this show's gonna be, dude. That's just how it's gonna go. What was the original? Thing. It'll Buzz be a psychological Lightyear. horror if it was from Buzz right. Lightyear's perspective. Yeah, we all we're all behind that. It absolutely would be. Uh, let's move on. Uh, I I'll go ahead and do my dream. Uh, okay. And this dream comes from me. Oh. oh. An original dream. An original, a Brett Hanrahan original dream. I. I was just looking. I used to have a dream journal because I tried to do the lucid dreaming thing. Uh, and I just found this one from like four years ago or something. Oh, dang. It goes as thusly. I had a dream that I was in a three-on-three -three balloon basketball tournament. Ah. And I balloon got on a basketball. team. Balloon basketball. It's basketball, but with balloons. Dude, yeah, that sounds just... fun as fuck. Right? It kind of... There's, there, there's something there for sure. Uh, and I was on a team with Michael Scott from The Office and Amethyst from Steven Universe. Nice. What? Which is, which is weird because at this point in time, I was super into Steven Universe, but I've never gotten into the, watching The Office. So... But he, he seems like... Michael Scott seems like the guy who would pretty much invent balloon basketball. Right? Yeah, sure. Uh... And our team was called Dennis Hopper and the Crazy Raccoons. Yep. We sucked, but got to the finals and played against AWOL Nation. <laughs> what? And that's... This and that's, dream is all how'd, over, my how'd man. How did y'all get to the finals? <laughs> we sucked. That's how. Is it like Dolph where you have to get like the lowest point? I don't know. And I if think... you just suck enough, you get to... The, does AWOL Nation suck? At balloon, basketball? I think I it was so long ago. I think this is how it went. I think we sucked so bad that the other teams pitied us, and just kind of like let us pity win, right? And then Enough AWOL Nation times. was actually good or something, and I guess it was the entirety like the five man troop of AWOL Nation <laughs> on a three on three <laughs> basketball tournament, which seemed unfair, but yeah. And also, I don't know who Dennis Hopper is. So I don't know why the team was called Dennis Hopper and the Crazy Raccoons. I I looked that up and he's Wait. an actor. He's an actor from the '60s, I think. 
your your team was called Dennis Hop was the Dennis Hopper team. My yeah. team was called Dennis Hopper and the Crazy Raccoons, which is also weird because there were no raccoons on the team and no one that looked like a raccoon. Well, maybe I, th- I feel like Michael Scott was like, I like Dennis Hopper. And then Michael Scott would absolutely do that. And Amethyst was just like, and we can be raccoons. Were the Maybe Dennis Hopper like sponsored us and we we were all the Crazy Raccoons and Dennis Hopper like paid for the team jerseys and stuff. Oh, yeah. He's like the coach. Yeah, he's like the manager, coach, sponsor. He's very into balloon basketball. Yeah, he was uh, one of the first champions of balloon basketball uh, back back in the 40s. Yeah. Uh, back when it was first hmm. invented. I mean, back when they used, you know, literal baskets for basketball hoops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, yeah. back in 1842. Man, the good 40, old 40s. The 40s. <laughs> 1642. The man, man, the 40s. 40. <laughs> uh, just the year so 40s. fucking insane in the 40s it was it was lit they had balloons balloons was one of the first modern inventions that they made in 40 uh yeah and obviously they were going to play some sports with it they invented balloon basketball three on three only please unless you're a wall nation then you get in for five <laughs> then you get five yeah, then you, yeah. For some reason. the three of us should start a balloon basketball team we definitely we should. The Thought Sauna team. Team Thought Sauna. Okay, wasn't there a thing for a while that was like trampoline basketball and that was like actually like everyone's that... like, oh, it's going to be the new sport or something. I mean, that sounds fun as fuck. That sounds absolutely chaotic and terrible. <laughs> it sounds that... fun and also sounds like a lot of injuries. It sounds like no one will live. <laughs> was was no, it? I'm going to look I'm going to look this up. Please. I I imagine a big trampoline for the whole court i'm pretty what? sure that's what it was or is it a bunch of like little trampolines and you have to be sure like not to get on the side of one yeah like on fucking like at like at altitude yeah like at the uh, trampoline park that we can't really go to anymore because yeah, we it's can. well it's infested by like six-year-olds that's what we have to that didn't stop us the last two times we just have to go at a good time they're, they're open until like midnight we can go at like 9 p.m Dude, I'd be so down. Wait, I think it was called Slam Ball? Slam Ball. All right, now I want to look this up. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. D- Slam Ball is a form of basketball played with four trampolines in front of each net and boards around the court edge. Professional Slam Ball games aired on television with Spike TV for two seasons in 2002 and 2003. And the Powerade Slam Ball Challenge was aired on CSTV, now CBS Sports Network, in 2007. What what does it mean by four trampolines in front of the hoop? Like there are two trampolines in front of the nets. And that's it? And the rest of the court is just normal? Let me see. Is it like four big trampolines with like a little bit of like bar in between the four? That's Sam, like I want you to look up court? a video. All right. Look okay, I found video. I found a picture. So it's like a regular court, except right in front of the net are four, four trampolines. So each net has four trampolines in front of it. Uh huh. So essentially, this game is all about dunking, and it's yeah, kind of like dude. the like tramp. It's kind of like the fucking trampoline stuff. In uh, it's kind of like the trampoline parks, except not the whole court. Yeah. So they're like divided by like soft foam things. I, I, there's no way that sport can be played without people breaking things every single game. Right? Like that's just not possible. Yeah, probably not. I, I, I mean, I, I'm going to look up a video after we record for sure. Cause I, I need to see this and I need to see if they're still taking players. Cause I could do I I had a trampoline for like seven years. I can do some sick flips. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's why they call fair. you Flips McGee. They call me Flips McGee, the ba- the bouncing gay puri. That's my name. That's what they call me on the east side of Austin. Oh. Cyan. Yes. I have a request. Yeah. Would you please stop touching the head? You put all the heads. <laughs> you put them all in front of me. And I need to fidget with something. You're like you're like manicuring its beard. Uh, that's okay. Enough.
enough. What does it mean? I want to know what it means, this basketball dream. Like, what's the overlying theme of this whole, of this whole thing? Like, even there, like, there was some odd obstacles in front of me. And even if I suck, I'll be able to get past them. Like, is that what, what it was trying to say? Was I think it? it was just trying to say, hey, you need to play this sport. It, it was my true calling. I need to invent modern balloon basketball. You really do. And we're going to today. Today. What about, oh. what about this? Trampoline balloon basketball. Oh. Oh, shit. Straight up. Change the game. The game's changed. All right, I'm taking a brief intermission to steal all the mannequin heads and put them back in the corner where they belong. Thank God, because I hated feeling them against my leg. Sam, I'm sorry you have to bear through this, even if only audibly. Oh, it's sticky. Oof. But Oof. nice and covered in glue. While I'm doing that, why don't you go ahead and uh, give us your law? Law? Okay. Let me pull it up. Now, this one comes from Oklahoma. Now, you guys know where Oklahoma lies geographically, right? Yes, yes. right above us. Yeah, it's directly north of us. Mm -hmm. In Oklahoma, whaling is illegal. <laughs> well, I, I mean, <laughs> whaling isn't happening. Uh, you, you can't you're right, do that. Because uh, Oklahoma is... A landlocked state. <laughs> I, I, yeah, y'all don't, y'all, do they know that they don't need to, like, specify that? Like, that we can just like, kind of, yeah. like, interpolate that? Yeah, no one, no one, in, like, they made that law and everyone went in Oklahoma went, okay, I guess, I mean, I approve uh, of it, right. but I don't see why we need it specifically. What about, guys, I have a proposition. What about this? In much, in much the same vein that Oregon is trying to force human evolution, what if Oklahoma put that law out as a challenge? Oh. They, they want to see who can actually get arrested for whaling in a landlocked state. Right? So what you're saying is that where or Oregon is trying to force the evolution of the human mind through, like, telepathic powers. Yes. Oklahoma's trying to do this through, like, physical means where they're like, all right, if you can hurl this harpoon all the way into an, an ocean and hit a whale and then drag it back, you're going to be arrested, but we're, it proves our method or wor methods are working. You're going you're gonna to be arrested, but you're going to be arrested but you're as gonna, a hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going to be a legend. You're going to be a true, a true legend in You'll in go myth. down in history. Or... You know, maybe maybe this gets the community together. Maybe they make an ocean. Oh, right? dang. In the middle of the country. Yeah, just kind of like behind the houses in the neighborhood. Just kind of in that empty field out there. They just dig it up, get some whales, and then ki kill them with harpoon guns and such. Do you think that's actually how this law got made? Is someone like... Imported did, a whale. That, yeah, imported a whale animal. and killed it. It was it was someone who moved in from like Florida or something, you know where where everyone just kind of goes where everyone, whales. Everyone whales, and they're like, Oklahoma, where are all the dang where's all the dang blubber I need for my candles? Whaling sounds like one of those challenges from 2011, like planking and owling, and <laughs> Batmaning. What would whaling be? If it was one of those, what would it be? I can only imagine. If it just... was one of those, it would be washing yourself up on the beach. Would it just be like laying down and like putting your legs up like a tail? Would it be spitting on people with water, like a blowhole? I feel like that'd be llama ing. I imagine just flailing like a fish. Well, that's fishing. No, well, no, fishing is another be... thing. Actually, I don't know if you know this. Uh, fishing right. is a thing where you just go out and. You catch fish with a with a, with a fishing pole. And a <laughs> oh, no, okay. that's not. I thought real. you were gonna make a joke. <laughs> no, there are no jokes on this yeah. podcast. The more you know. I think whaling would be like you go out into the ocean, and wait for like a wave to push you back up onto the sand, and then you just act like a beached whale. You explode. Uh, do, what do what do whales explode? Yeah. 
What? After they die. What? You never. You all have never seen a video of a whale just blowing up? No. No. There are, there are plenty of vid- videos. If a beach whale dies, it's something with like their organs cooking or something in the sun. And there are tons of videos of like people going down, like scientists being like, okay, we're harvesting this whale. And then it blows the fuck up. I don't remember the science behind it, but if I remember correctly, it's because their organs are cooking or whatever. Or something about the gases that get released when they die, mixing with the sunlight. I don't know what it is. I just know they blow the fuck up at some point. It's like after like three hours of them being dead on the beach. I just googled, do whales explode on land? And the first thing that pops up is, a dead blue whale washed up on the shore of an eastern Canadian town several weeks ago and has been causing quite a stir ever since. Locals tell the media they're worried the bloated, smelly carcass will explode. And what's worse is that their fears aren't unfounded as whale explosions have happened before. And I guess that's the end of that story. Yeah, I guess story. Whales blow up. Uh, when, okay, when a, whale, when a whale is beached, it is not afforded such a luxurious death. Gas builds up inside the whale's stomach as its stomach contents decompose, but due to its thick, tough blubber and skin, it can't be released. A combination combination of heat and the whale's own body weight can cause orifices to close up, intensifying the problem. And then it all just builds up until the body can't take it any yeah. longer. Oh no! This yeah. is. Oh no! Man. Do you think the government like made whales as like kind of uh, weapons against other countries, and they just got like got out of hand? Yeah, and they were like, fuck it, just release them in the ocean. I guess they'll be an animal. No one's going to find out they explode anyway. Okay, here's an- here's more on that. Here's more on the Canadian one. It says, but the most interesting part of the story isn't that this rare event is taking place before our eyes, but rather that we don't hear about potentially explosive dead marine mammals more often. Are there like, What the fuck kind of a sentence is that? Do other animals blow up? I don't think so. Also, since when do we come like a current events like? <laughs> we just tell you the oh, most. Oh, this happened back news. in twenty four. This this I'm looking at the article. This, this happened back in like May twenty fourteen. We tell you the most recent twenty fourteen news. We tell you news yeah. that you already heard about. So do y'all remember when Bernie said like, "Hey, stop talking about the emails," like yeah. the other day, during that debate? Man, for the twenty sixteen election. For the election yeah. of twenty sixteen. You know what I heard? What? I heard Trump was going to run. What? No. Yeah, dude. I'm like, no way. There's no way Donald. I'm going to vote for him as a joke. You, you know that this, no. is, this is kind of off topic, but did you know that this is crazy? This is crazy. Uh, did you know that, that the Pokemon anime is coming back from their hiatus and they're going to do a season three? What? They're going to do a season three. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to, they're going to, they're going to base it off Ruby, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. <sighs> crazy nice. right nice i love the ruby and sapphire games dude ruby sapphire and emerald are incredible games they're fantastic <sighs> games they're they're pretty great dude i th- i think that might it's hard to pick one of them being the best yeah i think pokemon x and y was pretty great i liked x and y because it had so many of those it. like new functions that i it... personally wish heart gold and soul silver were like yeah. would like are like I personally find Heart Gold and Soul Silver my favorite, but that's mostly because I could have my Pokemon fall around behind me. Why can I not do that anymore? I don't know why it's they don't do that. It's the up. stupidest shit. It's like y'all I mean they brought Pokemon Amy, right? That yeah. was amazing. Mm. Thank you so much for Thank that. Thank you. That was a gift. Game that freak. was a true gift. Y'all the true game freaks. <laughs> y'all y'all game freak. Y'all game freaks. And they also had, you know, like the rollerblades thing was cool. Yeah. So you yeah. could always like, you know, be kind of going fast. And... Fucking EXP share changed. Oh my god. Everything. For the whole uh, team. I know yeah. everyone I know ever I know everyone was complaining about like, oh it's too casual now. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I just don't have the time to level up all of my Pokemon. Yeah, I just want to have fun and play Pokemon. Like, I don't yeah, even... I just want to have fun and play Pokemon. I like the e- EXP share going to everyone. Sure, it made it a little. Uh, sure, by the time I got to the Elite Four, I was vastly overpowered. I mean, let's let's be real. Pokemon X and Y was definitely the easiest Easy, yeah. one. I, but yeah, it was the most fun. It was. I fucking loved it. Yeah. What yeah, was like, I, I hate that shit when people are like, 
You have Flareon on your team? Flareon has the worst stats. Oh, and I'm like, shut the fuck up. We talk about, up. like, EV stats. Yeah, EV and IV and I, shit. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I just like Flareon. Fuck you. Jesus I, Christ. I love... My favorite, my two favorite Pokemon are Gengar and Polyrath. Polyrath. Yeah. And I had them on my team, and it was fantastic. Woo! I got them both to level 100 before I even got to the Elite Four. Freaking Mega Evolutions. Oh my uh, god, Mega Evolutions, dude. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, I, well, now we're just having a, co- a casual conversation about Pokemon while, while recording. Yeah, what I were mean, we talking about? Whales. Whale Lord. Whale Lord's a good Whale Pokemon Lord. as well. Whale Lord would will whale- blow up if he died. <laughs> I was just about to ask would Whale Lord explode. Y'all, that w- Whale Lord's big. The scale of Whale oh, Lord. Oh my god. Could you imagine? It would. <coughs> here's the thing. It'd probably take like three days of him being on the beach and no one doing anything for him to blow up, for him to build up enough gas to blow up. But when he did... Dude, that would destroy a state. It would level a town would, at least. It'd be a fucking nuclear bomb. Like when a whale lord would, beaches, when a whale lord beaches, it would be a national crisis level emergency. But that's the thing. If a whale lord beaches, how are you gonna? What are you gonna do with him? You can't move him. Oh my god, the a Pokemon of, world's terrifying. A ton of Machokes. No, a ton no, of Machamps. No, no, yeah, I was about to say no, no Machamp. Okay, they oh, yeah. have, like, four arms. Okay, but could you imagine, like, how frustrating it would be if Ash was, like, hanging out and fucking Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus are all, like, having a war and you're like, well, the gods are fighting. And then, <laughs> yeah. like, you have to deal with that shit and then a Lord beaches and you're like, ah, uh, come <laughs> on, this deck is getting worse. Do you think, do you think the Pokemon people whale, whale lords? You think they hunt them for blubber? Dude, you just have to hunt one and you're set for life. What what's the what's the pre evolution of a whale lord? It's like whale mer. Whale mer. How big are those things? Like, whale mer are. I mean, they're big enough to ride on, but they're not huge. It's a pretty fucking big jump in size from whale mer to whale lord, though. Yeah. How do you even? How do you fight with a whale lord? I was about. Uh, yeah. You you call out what you call you send out whale lord, and he just crushes your opponent, trainer and Pokemon. Yeah. And they're gone. And, and you. And, and everything and... within a two mile radius. Yeah. <laughs> whale, whale Lord's big, y'all. Whale yeah. Lord hits. Whale Lord hits the ground, and if you don't call him back, he's now beached and will explode. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You only use Whale Lord in sea battles. Man, not even. Don't just don't use Whale Lord, please. Just save everyone the trouble and don't use Whale Lord. Don't have a Whale Lord. I'm I'm looking up the Let Whale Lords be free, like the kings of the ocean. You know Secret. what I also you know what Pokemon I also love? What? Kingler. The frig the frigging the Krabby yep. evolution? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I also money, love money, money. I also I also love Corefish. <laughs> These are all great Pokemon. Uh, we should I love water type water type Pokemon are the best they have such well, good designs for water types well fire cycle, all right dark. this isn't y'all this is another podcast this is another conversation we can't get into right now so check out uh the special coming in on on tv where we have the great pokemon debate i mean we're gonna have a pokemon theme podcast someday a for pokemon sure, theme sure. thoughts oh, i love it for sure yeah i would love that today's not the day Maybe next time we can coordinate that. So for now, check out our Facebook. We have a Gmail. We have a Discord now. All the links are going to be in the description. Send in your thoughts, dreams, your laws, and we'll gladly take them. So, Sign, why don't you uh, take us out? Take us out of this sauna? But th- then you'll realize just how sweaty you are. And then you'll remember, it's a good thing that I listened to the last episode because I was reminded to bring a towel. <laughs> so make sure you bring a towel and join yeah. me and my sweaty boys back here in the Thought Sauna next week. Every Friday. <laughs> Every Friday. Every Friday. Sam, you For the rest of eternity. Right we will always be here. Forever. Forever. You live in the sauna, you die in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> sauna life. F- sauna life for life. Alright, guys. Cut it. Cut it.